Okay, what's up guys? Welcome back to LSA TV. I'm out here on a Sunday night on a long, cold, wet and windy walk as you can probably tell by my wet face. I'm on the way to the gym now and I'm going to train chess with Billy. So let's go. Should be a good session today because um, I haven't trained for about three or four days now. But what you got to realise guys is that sometimes when you're at uni, uh, your uni work has to take priority and uh, sometimes you do have to miss the occasional gym session but as I always say emphasize consistency it's what you do consistently that matters so as long as you consistently get in the gym prioritize your work at the same time I can't emphasize that enough guys um, then you'll be able to make some consistent tram be able to make some consistent gains and actually make some progress in education and in, in the gym as well so uh, I'm cold now so I'm gonna get in the gym here we are guys, Trent students, get on it. 9.99 a month or 99 pound for the whole year. No excuses. In quite a part of the gym. Um, at the minute I've only done two sets of uh, flat bench press. Uh, that kind of at the minute wasn't that great. I kind of put that down to me not having that much food today. Uh, so I took an extra scoop of pre-workout to try and make up for it. Doesn't seem to be working uh, but I'm hoping we'll get into it a bit more later. I think also I kind of rushed the workout, rushed the warm-up sorry because um, the gym closes at 9 and it's already like 8 o'clock so uh, I don't think I'm just going to take my time and then ease my way into it a bit more. seen in that last set is that I really struggled on the last two reps so I had Billy there to spot me just to make sure I could push the muscles to the max because I was doing pause reps just to test the muscles that little bit more uh, I always emphasize pause reps I did it uh, a couple of videos ago emphasized how important they are how underrated they are so uh, give it a go really test you mentally as well I'm really getting into it now so uh, moving on to the next set <laughs> Right, so this is the third set. I'm flapping down, trying to keep the form into the last rep. Holding one, two at the bottom, and then controlling on the leg. So this is the third set, eight reps. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Keep it rolling after the other one. Yeah. Really keeping that squeeze and controlling it on the negative is something that people always forget because that is 50% of the motion. Right, so that is it for 
chest and back. Now we're moving on to the arm section. Starting off with some tricep push downs. Uh, really focusing on keeping that elbow lost on the side. Pulling down from the elbow. Man, it was loud in there. Hopefully you guys can hear me now. Uh, great chest workout, finished up uh, with some arms as you guys saw there. And um, it was great to work out with Billy. It was great to work out because I haven't had a pump for about four days now. I felt really flat, so it was nice to get back in the gym. And uh, Billy, if you're watching this, cheers for the good workout, mate. And uh, good luck in the match. He's off to a football match now. So uh, I'm just gonna take this long, cold walk home again. Uh, and I'll catch you guys when I'm home. So uh, that was my first time doing some sort of walkthrough in uh, in a public gym, because the only time I've ever done the walkthrough videos, which as I keep saying are my favorite kind of video to film, uh, I've been in my own gym, just been me and the person who's been filming it. Uh, so let me, let me know what you think of that, guys, uh, whether you'd like to see more or whether you'd like to see less. Um, and also a tip for a new new vlogger, any kind of YouTuber is looking to build any kind of following on social media. Uh, if you're vlogging in public like this, then my advice to you to just be do it. It will be scary. It'll be weird. Like filming that walkthrough was really strange for me. Uh, but now here I am in the busy Nottingham City Centre, um, and I'm just talking to the camera. And to be honest, the more I do it, the more comfortable I get. So. But I'm going to put the camera away now because it's going to start raining. It's already trickling and so... Uh, well, yeah, I don't want my camera to get wet. So this is the only piece of equipment... Well, this is the best piece of equipment that I have in order to film these videos. So I don't want to ruin it for you guys. One thing I will add to that last statement is that you do get a, a few funny looks. But actually when you realise that you're doing something that you really want to do, something that you really enjoy, something that actually you can be quite good at, then those funny looks just kind of disappear because they're only there for a second and then that's it they're gone like that like that just then I had the weirdest look of my life it looked to me like I was some kind of alien or something but uh, no just my advice to you guys would be to just get out there and do it just pursue something if it's really what you want to do and just get out there and do it 